name's Johnny with Sugar Creek Carriages. I'm doing a, um, a workshop, a, a horse carriage driving workshop today to teach y'all how to drive horses. <clears throat> this horse is Maxi. He's a uh, eight-year-old Percheron. He weighs uh, 2,400 pounds. The first thing you do when you start to get your harness on is make sure that your horse is diagonal away from whatever you've tied up to. That way you can work on both sides. Okay, we're fixing to throw the harness on. I'm going to show you the proper way to throw your harness on, but you you ease it up. You don't actually throw it on. You pick it up like this. You keep it uh, tight so it's not going to get all mixed up and jumbled up. You keep your harness up tight. You lay your collar. This is your collar. You lay it down this side first. That way you won't get no, no rocks or nothing inside of here that would rub on the horse's neck. And you lay your bridle down right beside it and always make sure it's far enough away from the horse so where the horse won't step on it and break your bridle and stuff in your bit. You take you hold with this hand, you take this hand, spread it apart a little bit like this. That way you've got it spread apart where you can throw it on the horse. Or lay it on the horse. Easy Maxie. Always let your horse see what you're doing. That way you won't spook him. And you ease it up here. Spread it out just a little bit. Now, this section on the horse right here is called the withers. All the nerves in the spinal, all the nerves in the horse in, in the spine and everything, they all meet right here. This is a very sensitive area on the horse. You don't want to hurt a horse right here. That's the reason you've got a pommel on the saddle and it sets up above that. So. It's a real sense of very, so be sure and don't throw nothing up there and hurt the horse. Okay, now we've got the harness laid up there. We're going to put the collar on next. This is the collar. Let him see it for his nose. Put the collar on. <laughs> like a dog. Now, on your collar, the adjustment should be a hand's width between the neck and the collar. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose, neither. A hand's thickness right here. Be right there like that. Next, we get the bridle. Back up a little bit now. When you put your bridle on, you get it up here like this. Stick your finger right inside your thumb right inside his gum right there and he'll automatically open up his mouth. Put it over his ears. Put your curve chain on. There should be a finger's, a finger's width between his uh, the, the, the chin and the curve chain. Put your throat latch on. Now you do want your throat latch a little tight, but not too tight. About two fingers. Because if you don't keep it a little tight, they can come up and pull your bridle off. And this keeps, you, keeps them from pulling your bridle off. So uh, about two fingers is good enough. All right, we're going to go ahead and set the hands up on the collar. These go on pretty tight. You don't want them to come off and come back and hit his shoulders or something. <laughs> okay. Then we spread out the saddle, the britches, and the crop. Come over to the other side of the horse. Take the chest girth out of the stirrup and go back to the other side. Oh, <laughs> and we go ahead and put the chest girth up under and tighten it up. Pull 
pull the britches down. Get the tail up over the britches. Make sure your crops set up there proper. Right in your uh, stirrup. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go over the different parts of the harness. This is your bridle. This is your curb chain. This is your throat latch. This is your check rein. These metal parts here, these are your hands. This is the collar. This here is your reins. This is your traces. Saddle, stirrups, chest girth, crop, bridge them. 